You now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? Why are you saying that? Imagine a shadow 20 kilometers across, streaking past Venus at 137,000 miles per hour, its sun-facing surface glowing like the heart of a molten furnace. This isn't science fiction, this is real. And Avi Loeb, the Harvard astronomer who once suggested that Oumuamua might be an alien light sail, has just turned our attention to another extraordinary visitor. This time, Loeb proposes something even more astonishing. The glow is not sunlight reflecting off ice or dust. He argues it may be the unmistakable signature of a compact nuclear reactor powering an interstellar craft. Either humanity has just glimpsed the first hint that we are not alone, or we are witnessing the most elaborate optical illusion modern astronomy has ever produced. Tonight, we'll walk through both possibilities, examining the evidence one clue at a time, and the clock is ticking faster than any cosmic mystery we've ever pursued. NASA's Atlas Telescope spotted the object on July 1, 2025, and within hours, astronomers calculated its orbit, hyperbolic, hurtling through our solar system from interstellar space, destined to vanish just as quickly. Three days later, the Minor Planet Center confirmed it. 3i slash Atlas, only the third known interstellar visitor, joining Amuamua and Borisov. Now, if all the light we we're seeing were simply reflected sunlight, we'd be looking at a 20-kilometer behemoth, roughly the size of 10 Manhattans stacked together. But the spectra from the European Southern Observatory tell a very different story. No water, no carbon monoxide, no comet-like tail. This is a visitor that defies everything we know about comets. Typically, comets shine brightest on the sun-facing side, and their tails point directly away from the star. 3i slash Atlas flips that expectation. Its brightest region is on the leading edge, the side plowing into the solar wind. Its spectrum is unnervingly smooth across infrared and visible wavelengths too, even for ordinary reflected light. Whatever material coats this interstellar traveler, it converts energy into light with nearly 80% efficiency, a feat that far surpasses the best laboratory tests of exotic magnesium silicate coatings, which manage only 25% brightness enhancement. In July 2025, Avi Loeb and his postdoctoral researcher, Carson Ezel, released a 32-page preprint asking the question that has set the astronomy world buzzing. Is 3i slash Atlas an artificial nuclear-powered probe? Their argument rests on five pillars. First, the orbital plane. Nearly all known interstellar objects tilt steeply relative to the plane of the solar system. But 3i slash Atlas skims almost perfectly flat, a 1 in 500 coincidence if it were random. Second, it's close encounters. Simulations show the object passed 0.3 astronomical units from Venus, 0.5 from Mars, and 0.8 from Jupiter, precisely the kind of trajectories that deliver free gravity assists. The odds of all three happening by chance? 0.005%. Third, perihelion timing. Its closest approach to the Sun occurred while Earth was on the opposite side, remarkably convenient if you wanted to avoid the planet with the largest radio dishes. Fourth, the forward glow. Loeb calculates that a compact nuclear reactor powering a magnetohydrodynamic engine could emit the observed infrared intensity, matching the object's brightness profile. Fifth, the size paradox. Interstellar objects larger than 10 kilometers should be extremely rare. Unless, of course, someone built them that way on purpose. Not everyone is convinced. Chris Lintot of Oxford dismissed the alien interpretation on Live BBC, arguing that probability arguments only look compelling after you already know the benefit. Issa's Marco Michelli points out that Atlas data shows faint traces of cyanogen and diatomic carbon, classic cometary fingerprints awakening as the object nears the sun. 
Meanwhile, the Zwicky Transient Facility released a time-lapse video showing brightness cycling every 7.4 hours, consistent with a rotating elongated comet nucleus. The cosmic pattern over the past seven years is bewildering. 2017, Oumuamua accelerates with no visible jets. 2019, Borisov behaves like a textbook comet. 2025, 3i Atlas refuses to pick a side. Loeb sees a trend, hints of extraterrestrial engineering. Critics see better telescopes and observational biases. The truth may lie somewhere in between. If 3i Atlas is artificial, humanity has only six months before it swings past Jupiter, vanishing forever. If it's natural, every telescope on Earth and in orbit still has a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness a pristine relic from another star evaporating under our sun. The stakes are high. James Webb has already scheduled 12 hours in mid-August to hunt for heat signatures. The brand new Vera Rubin Observatory will pin down rotation and surface composition. Each observation could either chip away at Loeb's bold claim or challenge the standard comet model. And for you, the viewer, here's your chance to weigh in. Pause the video, drop your theory in the comments. Probe or primordial iceberg. Vote with a simple P or C and explain your reasoning. The best answers might get pinned. Despite the skepticism, astronomers are scrambling to book every available hour of telescope time. The universe has no obligation to remain silent. Three tests could settle the debate before the new year. One, infrared spectrum. A natural comet should brighten around 3.4 microns due to organics. A reactor would spike at 4.8 microns where hot uranium oxide glows. Two, acceleration residuals. If the object speeds up or slows down outside gravitational predictions by even a few centimeters per second, it signals an active thruster. 3. Radar echo. Bouncing a signal off the surface with deep space network dishes. A solid metallic hull returns a sharp ping. A porous icy nucleus smears the echo across milliseconds. The countdown has begun. Whether 3IIATL is a relic of interstellar nature or an interstellar visitor of unprecedented origin, the next few months promise revelations that could reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Expect the headlines, whichever way the universe decides to reveal its secrets. Every day, 3IIATL drifts farther from the sun, cooling, dimming, fading into the cosmic night. By January 2026, it will have passed Jupiter, becoming fainter than Pluto, slipping beyond the reach of any human telescope. The window for answers is closing faster than any astronomical mystery we've ever pursued. Even Avi Loeb's harshest critics quietly can't help but root for him to be right, because the stakes are staggering. If this is an alien craft, it will rewrite textbooks overnight. If it's a natural comet, it still fills a profound gap in our understanding of how planetary systems fling material into the vast void. Here we stand, at the threshold of two possible tomorrows. In one, we wake to headlines declaring NASA confirms alien reactor. In the other, astronomers quietly catalog another interstellar traveler and move on. Whichever story unfolds, it will hinge on the observations collected in the next hundred nights, a cosmic countdown that humbles the imagination. So keep your eyes on the skies and your curiosity tuned to this channel. We'll bring you the data the moment it hits the servers. Until then, stay curious, stay skeptical, and join the conversation. Probe or comet? The universe has posed the question, and now it's up to us to listen.